Well, here we are again. It's uh, Rob, and this is the second video in my setup of the uh, MCPX. And what I'm going to do now is actually bind it to this uh, DX6 transmitter. I've already set up the transmitter with the uh, settings that are in the manual here. You've got settings for the DX6, the 7, and the 8. And uh, it's basically just like setting up any collective pitch helicopter. You've got uh, throttle curves for normal, stunt, and hold modes, and similarly pitch curves for normal, stunt, and hold. It tells you how to set up the dual rate in the expo and the travel adjustment um, for the radio. It also tells you which servos to set up in the normal or reversed mode. Um, I've basically set it up exactly as per the, uh, the manual. The only thing I've changed is the um, position of the dual rate. The manual says that you should have the dual rate, if you can just see this switch here, um, when the switch is in the up position. I prefer to have dual rate on when it's in the down position. Not that I use dual rates much anyway, but uh, that's about the only thing I've reversed. So when I have the switch up, I'm getting 100% control of movement. When it's down, I'm getting the reduced 70%, uh, which is the current recommended. The manual also says to use 30% um, uh, expo on uh, the controls, both in normal and dual rate mode. Um, and I've set that up at the moment, but uh, I'm sure once I get used to the helicopter, I'll probably take that off. I don't normally like to fly with, um, with expo. All right, so let's try and uh, bind this thing to the transmitter. First thing I need to do is turn this on and make sure everything is in the uh, low position for the throttle, so the trim's in the bottom and the throttle's at the bottom. Okay, all the dual rates are off, everything's switched off, and I'll turn the transmitter off. It's just like any of the bind and fly aircraft. You plug the battery into the air, to the um, aircraft, the receiver starts flashing, and then you turn on the transmitter holding the bind lever. So let's just do that. Okay, so I've plugged that power in. There's the light flashing you can see and now I'm going to bind the transmitter. So I'm holding that uh, bind lever, which is the trainer, trainer lever on the transmitter, and there it is. So we've got a successful bind by the looks of things. What I'm going to do is just do a uh, control check Okay, that's uh, up elevator or back elevator. That's forward elevator. That seems to be working okay. I'll have a look at the aileron. Right aileron, left aileron. That seems to be working fine. And what I'll have to do now is just select the throttle hold position, which is on the top left hand side of my transmitter. Okay, and we now should have some collective pitch. There you go. Doesn't that look cute? Okay, so it's just a, uh, a full collective pitch helicopter in uh, microscopic size. Okay, well that all seems okay. Um, I'll just disconnect the battery and then we'll reconnect it and make sure the bind has held. Radio's off. Leave it for a few seconds. Turn it on. And that's telling me I'm in the hold mode. So, okay, that's fine. Now we'll turn on the aircraft okay that seems okay it's um, picked it up without too many problems and what I'll do now is I'll just power it up very slowly and see if we can get some uh, rotation on these uh, rotors well, the tail rotors working there you go okay that seems nice and smooth Okay, that all seems great. I'll uh, just stop this video now and then um, we'll have a look at a short uh, maiden test flight.